Barack Obama and his running mate Joe Biden continue to hammer hard against John McCain when it comes to the issue number one, that would be the economy. Let's uh, get the Republican response. The former Republican presidential candidate, former governor of Massachusetts, Mitt Romney, is here in the Situation Room. Governor, thanks for coming in. Thanks, Wolf. It's hard to believe what's going on in the economy right now. You've been involved in the business sector almost your whole life before you got into politics. Lehman Brothers going down. Can you believe this? Yeah, it's bubbles bust, and they always bust. And the housing market got way too overheated with very low interest rates and then mortgages handed out like they were candy and uh, housing prices got up and up and up speculators moved in and that's finally uh, now readjusting and it's doing so with a lot of pain for a lot of people the democrats say you know what this is under bush's watch of the last eight years they pushed through all this deregulation and now we're paying a price yeah there's no de deregulation that related to this subprime mortgage crisis no one was crying that we shouldn't put out the kind of mortgages that were out there democrats and republicans both both crowing about more people getting homes. Congress didn't pass a bill saying tighter regulation. With hindsight, though, the president, he's in charge, the secretary of the Treasury, they should have been paying closer attention to what's going on. There's so much blame that could be uh, assessed that you'd say, look, Wall Street made mistakes, the, the S&P, the people that oversee the, uh, uh, the, the rating agencies made mistakes, Congress made mistakes. They have oversight committees to look at these various areas. And also in the administration, there's something called OFEO, the Office of Federal Enterprise Housing Oversight. They weren't doing their job. A lot of people made mistakes, but at this stage, the question is, what's the right thing to strengthen the economy? John McCain has the answer. Barack Obama doesn't. Obama today is ridiculing John McCain for saying this morning there should be another commission, a 9-11 type commission to study what happened. And, and he makes the point, and it's a pretty uh, accurate point, I want to say, that whenever there's a problem in Washington, the first thing they do is create a commission sort of to kick the issue down the road. Uh, is this time for a commission or is it time, as Obama says, for action to fix this and make sure it never happens again? Well, of course, we're going to have to study the regulatory structure on Wall Street to make sure that these kinds of bubbles are identified before they become of a, of a crisis proportion. And that's going to take study. But the immediate action that has to be taken is to keep taxes down to allow our trade with other nations to continue and to get ourselves off of our dependence on foreign oil by drilling for more oil, using nuclear and also using coal. And on those issues, Barack Obama is going to have to reverse course. He, he can't raise taxes now. He can't add more spending programs. He can't cut off trade, and he just can't say that we're not going to be able to use he, nuclear and offshore drilling. On the taxes, what he says he wants to do is uh, bring the levels that existed during the uh, Bill Clinton administration, and throughout the 90s, uh, the economy was doing just fine. Is there anybody out there that thinks raising taxes would help the economy right now? I don't think so. I think everybody recognizes, even Barack Obama has said, well, he can't put in place his tax increases until the economy gets stronger. That's a pretty clear indication that even he recognizes that raising taxes right now would not help the economy. It would hurt it. During the time of Bill Clinton, those were great times. We, we were over the Cold War. We thought uh, history had ended. But it hasn't, and it's, there are tough times out there. He is also hammering away on a comment he made yesterday, John McCain, Barack Obama, saying uh, that when he speaks, McCain, uh, of the fundamentals of the U.S. economy being strong, he says he, he, he thinks he's out of touch with what's really going on for average folks out there. Uh, listen to Senator Obama today speaking about what happened yesterday with uh, Senator McCain's comments. He tried to explain himself again this morning by saying that what he meant to say was that the American workers are strong. But we know that Senator McCain meant what he said the first time because he has said it over and over again throughout this campaign. All right, uh, you want to respond? Because he says there are at least 16 times that over the past several weeks and months when John McCain spoke about the fundamentals of the economy being strong, but really never d directly referring to the fundamentals being the American workers, which is what he's now talking about. The American workers are very good. Look, I campaigned uh, uh, with John McCain, against John McCain. On this issue of the economy. On, was on that... the issue of the economy. And with regards to the fundamentals of America's economy, what he's referring to is the innovative capacity of America, the ab ability of our American workers and the productivity levels we have in this country, those fundamental elements. But John McCain has been saying for a long time the economy is in real trouble, that people are hurting. We're going to have to make a, an enormous effort to stop the slide of our economy and to rebuild it. And the key thing Barack Obama is going to have to do is stop trying to find a gotcha on John McCain and explain how it is he can continue to be for a tax increase, how he can be for restricting trade, and how he can be for drawing a line saying no nuclear, no offshore drilling. That's what he's going to have to abandon. And by the way, he can't add new programs right now, new service projects, new health care spending. 
This would just be the worst thing for the economy. Well, he says also that the only new taxes would be on uh, people making more than $250,000 a year. But, but listen to Joe Biden, because he weighed in on this same issue uh, also today. Listen to this. The middle class is dying. John talks about the strength of the American worker. The American worker has been left out in the cold. Look what's happened. We accumulated a trillion dollar debt to foreign governments. We're paying the highest price we've ever paid for oil because we have no energy policy. We have the highest unemployment rate in five years. We're in a situation where middle class people are struggling. They're hanging on. And what are they doing for them? Zero. All right. They're not letting up the Democrats, as you can see. Well, what's, what's humorous in listening to Joe Biden is that he's been there forever. He's been in Washington. So Senator McCain. They, they've both been there. John McCain has been arguing for an economic, or excuse me, an energy policy that makes sense. Joe Biden hasn't been. And right now, you can look at what their prescriptions are for the economy. John McCain has said, we're going to give a tax cut to middle-income Americans. We're going to hold taxes down for all Americans. We're going to keep our corporate tax down so we can bring companies into this country and grow more jobs. And we're going to develop our energy resources. And Barack Obama and Joe Biden, their plan is to do just the opposite. That's not going to help. Governor Romney, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Good, Good to, to have you here in the situation. Good to be back, Wolf.